All right, good morning, welcome Aquarius. Um, so I was getting a little download here about um, quit focusing on winning and focus on living. All right, focus on living. All right, so many people are focused on this like winning mindset, um, trying to get all that they can get, but you're really not living. All right, you're, you're focused on winning in like one specific area or maybe like a couple areas instead of the main specific. All right, so let's see what we have for Aquarius here. All right, I'm gonna pull from the moon deck and see what we've got here. I just saw a time for healing, so I feel like you really do need to um, focus on that here. Yeah, because see your commitment's being tested. All right, you need to focus on love, all right? Living in the moment of love and seeing where that gets you, all right? Because it says to believe in the impossible. Work through your fears and show the world the real you. Okay, so your commitment's being tested here. So focus on living and less on winning. All right, to me, winning is just like somebody that's in competition all the time with other people. Um, even themselves to an unhealthy um, level there. What do you need to release, Aquarius? Oh, Aquarius. If you keep living in your past and yourself, no, nothing's going to come of this situation. So you need to release the past. You need to focus on healing, all right? And you need to release with the waning moon um, that winning attitude. I don't know why I'm getting this for you, but I am. And I don't know for who, because God knows who comes here, so. All right, let's get one more out for Aquarius. You're very close to achieving your goal. Confidence is key. The answers you need are coming here. All right, so I feel like when you release this mindset is when good things are gonna come in for you. You need to be confident confident about this. All right, so let's get for Aquarius what you need to release, your commitment being tested, all right? So when you release this need to win, then you get the win-win outcome. All right, which is gonna be a different win. All right, it's gonna be than what most people perceive winning as. All right, let's do a couple more shuffles here. Oh, come on. Okay, so we're starting with the page of swords so i feel like you're a little restless here give me for the princess of swords so don't don't worry about this way of being this release here okay don't worry about that we have the world here all right we have Let's see, why is the world here? All right, so whatever you need to release here, I feel like you've been thinking about it. You've been kind of stuck pondering about it. Um, I feel like you need to release the excessive thoughts. And I'm also getting, yeah, release that <clears throat> mindset that keeps you stuck. All right, it's like you're stuck in a winning mindset. All right, that you're not fully living with the world here. I feel like your thoughts are trumping. Um the reality. God, why am I drawing a blink? That's, you know, the minute you start to release this mindset of winning is when things are going to start to like fall into harmony in your life. All right. It's about expanding. It's about growing. That's when things really come in for you. All right, so we can we can do whatever. We can work hard, we can this and that, but if we don't work on ourselves and our minds and all that, things aren't gonna fully come in. People tend to do more work than what's necessary, all right? Just working on yourself 
puts every sets everything in motion that needs to come in. All right, we have here the three of pentacles. So you might be contemplating your job, your work. Yeah, because there you are, Aquarius. Um, you could be contemplating the people you work with, the people that you might be building things with. Um, but I'm also getting that you're kind of, you need to like, oh, what am I trying to say here? We got double threes here. We have the hanged one. Okay, and then we have here the death with the five of cups. I feel like what it's saying here is cut your losses and move on. All things require sacrifice in life. All right, we may not like that shit, but we all have a choice. It may not be the choice we like or the choices we like, but we all have a goddamn choice. And then we have another three here with the three of swords. You need to make some type of sacrifice, some type of release in order to achieve some type of enlightenment. Sever the bond from things that keep you stuck, keep you from expanding. And it's like you're not letting things come in naturally. I feel like you're almost like forcing things. It's time to transition, transform. Maybe that's something that you need to focus on. Transforming your life, harmoni uh, harmonizing your life. We have the fool here, yeah. So you're going to be the most happy living, like I said. <clears throat> Quit focusing on winning. Just live life with the fool card. All right, the fool card doesn't worry about today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day. All right, and that's one thing that you need to release. You're too focused on things that aren't benefiting you as a whole being. It could have to do with work here, all right? You're trying to make things grow, expand, and this and that, but it's taking away from this carefree energy like the fool. Um, going on adventures, having fun, taking a leap of faith, taking risk, because those things are what makes and shapes us. All right, whether they're good, they're bad, whatever, they all make and shape us. That's where you're going to feel the happiest at, yeah, when you get understanding about this. Because the Eight of Swords is here again. You're stuck on money. I knew there was something with work with the Three of Pentacles. You are chained and stuck and bound to money. I think I've gotten this before for you, Aquarius, that you're... <clears throat> You're focused in the wrong area. And I feel like you're suffering. You're not showing how you're really feeling either. But you need to just cut your losses. All right? Everything will work out in the end is what I'm kind of getting here. Yeah, see, when you move into this full energy and you become your most happiest, um, that's when you're really going to see things unfold for you. But you're, you're, you're like... I feel like you're stuck on possessions. Be determined, be confident, be bold, be daring, like the Queen of Wands, and just live life. All right? But yeah, it's like, I feel like you're just so, like, about possessions and money and finer things. And yeah, you're at a crossroads right now. All right? So let's get this wrapped up for Aquarius. The answers you need are coming, and maybe it's in the form of this message. You just saw the Nine of Cups again. All right. When you step into this, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's when you're going to be the most fulfilled. All right. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign here. All right. But I feel like, yeah, living carefree and free-spirited is where you're going to feel your best self, all right? That's when you're going to see everything coming in for you, all right? Maybe you're starting to see this, but what you need to release is this need to cling on to possessions, money, material items, 
Maybe even a lover is going to come in. All right. But it's about achieving enlightenment. All right. Awaken your feelings. Offer your cup of feelings. Take that leap of faith. Live life. All right. All right. Last card for Aquarius, please. I just saw the six of wands. Yeah, you're going to be very successful here as long as you focus on yourself spiritually and shifting your energy, bringing more harmony into your life. Because right now it's like you're stuck in some type of group collaboration here, making money, could be a business, something here, and you're, you're stuck, you're trapped. You play, you might think you're the victim, but you create your own circumstances. It wants to be here, the Six of Wands. All right. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody because there's a lot of fire here. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's a fire sign who's very like seductive, very beautiful, um, just alluring, charismatic, but could be somebody in the public eye here that you're really wishing upon. All right. And it's another free spirited energy here. We have here the Six of Cups. It could be a part of your soul tribe. All right. But I feel like if there is a person, I feel like you're hanging on to how you really feel. You're trying to hide everything. All right. So I feel like you really admire this person. If there is somebody here, you can have success in life. You just have to learn to find like that, that perfect medium, that perfect balance. All right. I feel like there's like this new initiative you need to go on. And it's a carefree, adventurous energy. Too many people want to keep up with the Joneses today. And it's like me, I don't give a shit if I live in a damn cardboard box. As long as I'm fucking happy, that's the main thing. All right. So I feel like with that Ten of Cups, seeing it again, this is where you're going to be the most fulfilled and happiest. Communication, some type of movement needs to be made here. All right. But this is like ultimate bliss and happiness here. It's just being that free spirit in nature. Being confident and sticking to your terms. But we have conflict here. Maybe you've got conflict um, with family. You could be fighting with family, but there's also that competition, that competitive energy, all right? And com being competitive is not very good, all right? It's that winning energy, all right? I feel like you're not winning here. There could be a lot of just arguments, disputes here. There you are. You're contemplating your life, Aquarius. I don't know if you're contemplating an earth sign here. Because I'm getting like community celebration being woke to something. Double wokeness here with the Ace of Swords. Wow, triple clarity. Could be getting some type of clarity on an earth sign. Something about like maybe there's like a status thing with the community and you're really contemplating that and you could be rejecting um, being your true nature, the healer. All right, so you're a healer and you need to do that. I've been getting a lot of this with zodiac signs lately, stepping into their healing energies and stepping into your destiny where you're supposed to be, aligning yourself with the world you were born to be. Um, or who you are supposed to be in this world. So let's get a couple animals here for Aquarius. This is the third reading I've done that is speaking of healers. And I feel like it's because our freaking world is so fucked up right now. I mean, shit is being destroyed, tor torn down left and right. All right. So we ha we're starting with the crow. So now is a lucky time to start co-creating with your own spirit and the spirit of your ancestors, the universe, you know. Um, it's co-creating with people that are going to serve your highest good. All right, threes are showing up. Use your mind wisely, Aquarius. And then we have the snake. It's time to heal. All right, you need a, to do some healing work because I feel like you've kind of strayed off. And you need to use your mind wisely, your thoughts wisely. All right, last one here. Watch and wait with the seahorse. When you start opening up your heart chakra, look at that. All right. Be at home is where you're going to see clearly, where you're going to clear out the clutter. And now is a lucky time for you to sing your own song here. Be fearless. Be bold like that queen of wands. All right. Watch and wait and see what happens when you open up that heart chakra. 
All right, if you're dealing with someone, open up. Tell them how you feel. Life is too short to just ponder. All right, Aquarius. So that's what I have for you, loves. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.